Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet, peace be upon him, as he described himself, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Say Muhammad, People, I am the messenger of Allah to you all, from him who has control over the heavens and the earth. There is no God but him. He gives life and death. So believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him so that you may find guidance. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. One of the greatest blessings that Allah, glory be to him, bestowed upon the Muslim nation is that he sent it uh, the best of his creation and the seal of his prophets and messengers. Our master Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a guide, a bearer of glad tidings and a warner, the Almighty Allah said, Allah has been truly gracious to the believers in sending them a messenger from among their own to recite his revelations to them, to make them grow in purity and to teach them the scripture and wisdom before that they were clearly astray. When contemplating the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, one finds that our Prophet, peace be upon him, has told us about himself, revealing his status and the purity of his lineage, as he said, Verily Allah granted eminence to the tribe of Kinana from amongst the descendants of Ismail, and he granted eminence to the tribe of Quraysh from amongst Kinana, and he granted eminence to Banu Hashim from amongst Quraysh, and he granted me eminence from the tribe of Banu Hashim. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, My similitude in comparison with the other prophets before me is that of a man who has built a house nicely and beautifully except for a place one brick in a corner the people go about it and wonder it uh, its beauty but say would that this brick be put in its place so i am that brick and i am the last of the prophets Speaking about his good morals and great qualities, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, I am only a mercy given to you. He, peace be upon him, also said, I have not been sent as the invoker of curse, but I have been sent as mercy. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah did not send me to harsh or cause harm, but he has sent me to teach and make things easy. The Almighty Allah has described him in the glorious Qur'an saying, We have not sent you except as a mercy to the worlds. Allah, glory be to him, also said about Prophet Muhammad, By an act of mercy from Allah, you, Prophet, were gentle in your dealings with them. Had you been harsh or hard-hearted, they would have dispersed and left you. So pardon them and ask forgiveness for them. Consult with them about matters. Then when you have decided on a course of action, put your trust in Allah. Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, will be a witness over all people on the Day of Judgment regarding their responses to their prophets and their conditions with them. As the Almighty Allah said, What will they do when we bring a witness from each community with you, Muhammad, as a witness against these people? On that day, those who disbelieved and disobeyed the Prophet will wish that the earth could swallow them up. They will not be able to hide anything from Allah. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, told us about the great status that he will have on the Day of Judgment and about his intercession for his nation and that he will be the first one, that the gates of paradise will be open for him. He, peace be upon him, said about himself, I am the master of the children of Adam on the Day of Judgment and I am not boasting the banner of 
praise will be in my hand and I'm not boasting. There will not be a prophet on that day, not Adam nor anyone other than him, except that he will be under my banner. And I'm the first one for whom the earth will be opened for and I am not boasting. He, peace be upon him, also said in a long hadith about his intercession on the day of judgment, people would come to me and say, O Muhammad, you are the messenger of Allah and the last of prophets. Allah has pardoned you all the previous and the latter sins. Intercede for us with your Lord. Don't you see in which trouble we are? Don't you see what misfortune has overtaken us I shall then sit off and come below the throne and fall down prostrating before my Lord then Allah would reveal to me and inspire me with some of his praises and glorifications which he had not revealed to anyone before me he would then say Muhammad raise your head ask and it would be granted intercede and your intercession would be accepted i would then raise my head and say oh my lord my people my people the prophet peace be upon him also said i will come to the gate of paradise on the day of resurrection and would seek its opening and the keeper would say who are you i would say muhammad he would then say it's for you that i have been ordered and not to open it for anyone before you may allah's peace and blessings be upon our master muhammad and upon his family and companions we ask allah to protect egypt and raise his flag 